Yeah. Well, I, I thought it was a tell of two different halves. Um, you you got to give Georgetown credit. Um, they, they're doing a great job. John Thompson III is doing a great job with this team. Since they had their early losses, they, they, they've won now with us five in a row. And uh, I thought in the first half, we didn't do a great job of guarding the three-point line. And, and certainly when you look at the stat sheet, they ended up making 10 threes in the game. In the second half, we were able to score some baskets, so we were able to get into our press. And I thought our press was very effective uh, in the second half. But first half, because we wasn't scoring, uh, we certainly couldn't press them the way we wanted to. Did you, yeah. hold, did you hold that diamond in your pocket? You kind of threw it out there late and to great success. Well, uh, give John credit. He changed up his press break a little bit, mm -hmm. and we wanted to mix up our presses. Uh, we went from a 2 to a one and then mm -hmm. certainly we went to a diamond late in the game when we had to have it. But the, the toughest thing, Vaughn, is because we didn't score in the first half and only had 20 points, if you're a pressing team, it's hard to get in your press if you're not scoring baskets. Yeah. How do you uh, sort of uh – Sell this one to the guys. I mean, you know, you come close and you know do a lot of good things and still take the loss here. First. Well, as you know, Eric, we were five and zero on the season, and uh, we want to win every game. And uh, one of the things that we talked about in the locker room was that certainly uh, I want our guys to have the, a better mental approach. You know, I feel like in the first half we came in and we were playing Georgetown, which is a great program, and I think they thought we were playing Georgetown. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly when they settled in and decided to play. And, and understand that, you know, played our game, I thought we played better basketball in the, in the second half and had a chance to win towards the end. Did Jordan, you? Jordan, what was the, were those last couple minutes like for you? I mean, you guys were, were just kind of, you know, got it going the pace you wanted and, uh, you know, were doing some good things there. I just felt like we just started playing our basketball. We just went out there and left it on the line and competed on both ends. <clears throat> Coach, did you expect so much 1-2-2 two, two against you? I did. Uh, and, and, you know, what happens to us is because we are running and pressing team, a lot of people will play us a 2-2-1, a soft 2-2-1 back into a man-to-man -man or a 1-2-2. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that as a coach, when you play a defense and it works at the beginning, you stay in it. And I thought in the first half it slowed us down. How did uh, the fouls change the rotation you wanted and kind of the game you wanted to play matchup-wise? Well, I, I think it changes because you take some of your natural scores off the floor. But you know, certainly, um, you know, we're prepared for any situation because we play eleven guys. And um, you know, I, I thought it changed a little bit because Craig wasn't in there to score, and then we had some different guys that didn't get a chance to play on the offensive end. But I don't think it changed us at all defensively. Dylan, what do you think the difference was uh, for you guys? You know, kind of. Wanted to play that way probably the whole game, and you know, eight minutes was almost enough. Uh, I think the big thing for us was in the second half, offensively we settled down, we just hit some shots. So like you said, allowed us to get into our defense a little bit, and really it was just a lot of momentum. Um, we just started believing. Coach kept telling us at every media timeout, just don't quit. We're gonna ride this out, slow play a little bit, and just get get back into it, and uh, give ourselves a bigger shot. For the for the players, your uh, your coach is a real energy guy. Does he demand that from you? Uh, yeah, it rubs off. It definitely yeah. rubs off. Um, he demands, I mean, he always brings the energy on the sideline. And when we see him hyped up on the sideline in our ears, we definitely bring the effort in the games. For anyone, when you come back off of a 10 day break for exam, is the hardest part the mental or the physical or both or something else? Well, I think it's both. I mean, you know, obviously we've got a, um, our school is a great academic school, and these guys have been challenged in the classroom for the last three or four days. Um, you, you never know uh, if any of that, you know, uh, is the reason why you start slow or the layoff. But, uh, I, you know, give Georgetown credit. In the first half, they did a great job. They made shots. Uh, I thought Devontae Smith Rivera was very good. He got to the free throw line. He ran the team. He did some stuff. And, and we were back on our heels. And in the second half, I think we started believing once we made some shots. So, you know, today's kids, it's tough because they define their game if they're scoring on offense. And if you're not scoring on offense, then certainly other areas suffer. And I thought our defense suffered because we wasn't scoring the ball in the first half. And the second half, we started scoring, and we picked our activity up. You guys obviously hadn't been in a position like that yet this year with this group. I guess what do you get out of uh, you know being in that situation? That well, I think it's a lot. I mean, you know, when you when you look at it, you got to tell the two halves. I, I have the opportunity now to go back and show us where I thought we didn't play well for 20 minutes, and then you know in the second half you played great basketball and. You know, it's a great teaching thing for us. And, you know, to, to have an opportunity to come in and play Georgetown and the Big East with a great program and to play them close with the opportunity to win, I think we can take a lot out of it.
outside of uh, that five-minute period of with the Diamond, do you think their alternative ball handlers, maybe number 11, 32, 5, do you think they did a pretty good job against your, your full-court man? Well, I think we confuse you a little bit, and I think it's uh, you know unfair when we play different teams, but because we, we try to take your primary ball handler out of the game, and so we tried to get DSR in the corner a lot where we made him pass to other guys that not that they couldn't handle the ball, that they were less ball handlers than he is. So you know we do that. We come in with a game plan. Our game plan is to try to take the ball out of your better ball handler's hand, and and we did that in the second half, and we made other guys run the offense, which they were a little uncomfortable doing. Coach, what's your overall impression of Georgetown as they head into the conference play? I'm excited. I'm excited about this, their team, and I'll tell you why. Because um, they've got a, a very good player in uh, Smith Rivera. They've got uh, Hayes, who's developing to a tremendous low post guy because he's scoring the basketball at a high rate right now. And they have guys who can shoot the basketball. And if you got those three combinations, and he's got a great system that he runs, I think they have a chance to be a tremendous basketball team. I mean. You know, certainly, um, you know, we would love to win the game, and uh, we played to win, but, you know, we, we got beat by a better team tonight. Speaking of Hayes, did you tell your guys to sit on his left hand and, and, and double him on the move? We tried. He's so big, Ron. <laughs> um, you know, our game plan was to, 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 to deny his on touches, and uh, every time he catches the ball, shade his left shoulder. And, um, you know, he's making those. And even in tapes where I see – you know, bigger opponents, when you talk about Syracuse and you talk about Wisconsin, they did the same thing, and the guy made it. So give him credit, uh, and give John and, and his staff credit. That's a young man that didn't play his first two or three years, and now he's de developed into a very good basketball player. Yeah, Dylan, uh, I mean, you guys were shooting probably under 30% until he made some right at the end. I mean, what, uh, I guess, how do you feel about your shot selection kind of overall, and you, know, you guys uh, you know, missed a lot, a lot of shots uh, for you know, a good stretch of that game? I think the first half, uh, I think we forced it a little bit. I think we only had, what, four assists at halftime. Usually we're around around 10 or so. Um, so I think we forced a little bit in the first half. And then again, when we got that momentum in the second half, we started getting back to ourselves. And we were making the extra pass. And it was just really a confidence thing. Guys were knocking down shots. You guys hadn't played a team with that, those kind of bigs inside. I mean, how, how much was that uh, a part of it, you think? Um, I don't think it's a big part of it. I mean, we knew we knew we had a, a lot of days to prepare. We knew going in, we were going to be they were going to have more size than us probably. Um, it's just kind of an adjustment you have to make early on in the game, I guess, if you're not used to the hype. Time for one more question. Okay, thank you.